guys, it's me again. It's Emmanuel McIntosh, and I want to thank you again for joining me on another episode of Daily Words of Wisdom. Let's take a look at today's quote. Okay, so, so many people today really are affected by the illusion of failure because, you know, besides fear, I mean, fear is the number one block in this reality, okay? Fear literally hinders all kinds of manifestations because, I mean, it doesn't hinder manifestations. It hinders your desired manifestations because when we're fearful, we'll only attract more fearful experiences. So it does manifest quickly. It just manifesting in a way that we do not prefer it to manifest. And so besides fear, there really is no other illusion more damaging than the illusion that failure exists. And, you know, people will, for example, they will look at where they are today and the journey. They will kind of go over the journey that they've experienced so far. And then they tend to compare that journey to everyone else's journey. And all that's doing is creating feelings of disappointment, feelings of being lost, feeling, feeling stuck, of not evolving. Of, you know, it is creating the illusion of failure. And sometimes the fear of failure literally stops people from even trying anything new. Or it stops them from following their own dreams or desires. It stops them from literally having the courage to take that first step towards uh, creation. And so fear of failure really is one of the biggest reasons why people are not succeeding in their desired goals and in their intentions. We live in a universe where the law of attraction is very present and is always present and it's never going to change. Whether you're here on earth or whether you're in heaven, the law of attraction applies. And so when we're constantly residing in a frequency of fear and failure, then you can only attract more of that. So if you are afraid of failing, then I can guarantee you, you're going to attract and manifest experiences where you will experience that sensation of failure. It's not real, but you will experiencing it. You, you will experience it in this lifetime because um, you your mind makes it real. Your consciousness is the creator of your reality. Therefore, if you uh, attract it and create it, you will experience that and it will be feel very real. Now, when we look at children, when we look at young young children, they really seem to be fearless. They are great manifestors. And they are inherently creative. So we are all born fearless, creative, um, full of love, full of positivity, and full of joy. But why are they such great manifestors? It's because they live their life following their own intuition. They follow their hearts. Um, instead of you know, using their analytical mind to make decisions, they will always make decisions based on what it feels like. They also don't have the fear of failure and they don't invest energy in self-editing. They are who they are and um, they are not going to change in that moment uh, for anybody. Now, they, you know, as children, they are really learning and exploring the world that they live in. And so they experiment without fear so they can discover what they are capable of and they aren't afraid of what other people think. And so when we look at our children and we are raising them, you know, when your child is trying to learn how to walk and it keeps falling down and it has to get back up and it's falling down and it has to get back up. We think it's the cutest thing ever that they are trying so hard to make it work. But when we look at people, we're trying something, it fails. We're trying something, it fails. We start to judge it. Okay? So there's the difference. 
adults are far more resistant. They are constantly living in a state of resistance. They are not surrendering to their own flow. They are not surrendering to their creative uh, spark inside of them. Um, and they are constantly being limited by false beliefs, by fears, and by these illusions of failure. You know, adults are far more fearful of the unknown. You know, we're afraid of failure and we are afraid that how how would i say we're afraid of of how our failures will be perceived by others so in a way we're afraid that if we fail we are going to be judged by others uh and being and be seen as less worthy and so we live unfortunately in a world that from our our adult perspective appearances seem to matter you know and again that is another illusion that will always hold us back because everybody's unique and everybody is here to create something unique. Now, the truth is, it is literally impossible to fail in life because life is about creation and experience. It's about growth and expansion. We choose this human incarnation to experience that duality that good and that bad, that positive and that negative, to expand from all of those experiences. We are here to discover who we are and who we are not. We are here to create and attract what we request consciously and subconsciously. So every experience, whether it's a good one or a bad one from a human perspective, uh, whether it's a pleasant one or a painful one, all these experiences really are priceless. They are all invited because nothing comes uninvited and they are all extremely valuable for the individual growth, but also for the collective expansion. Now, what humans see as failure really is the universe trying to show you what works and what doesn't work, what resonates with you and your desired intentions for this incarnation and what doesn't. And so, Every time when you don't succeed in something, you have to keep in mind that that it's just the universe trying to help you to move into a new direction that will work for you. But it's also a way of your higher self to experience what resonates and what does it for that soul. So despite the fact that we as humans think from our human perspective, we know everything. We have no clue what the bigger picture is behind everything that's happening. You know, what is the matrix that's being created behind what the human mind can perceive and experience. So know that there's always something bigger going on uh, while you're going through your experiences. And so we need to work on having faith uh, in that uh, source. Now, what we tend to forget is that we are being guided and really helped nonstop, nonstop through this eternal broadcast from our spiritual team, from our loved ones, and from source energy. So we, the problem is we don't trust that we're being taken care of on a higher level and that we're being guided to the places and the experiences that we need in order for us to grow. So what do we do? We start to feel like we must control everything in this physical realm in order to create and attract that reality that we think we need in order to be happy. But keep in mind that any fear is a need announced. We fear because we feel that we need to achieve and reach certain manifestations in order to be happy. And the idea of not reaching that need really leads to the illusion that happiness will then be impossible to reach, impossible to experience. And so we start to attach negative emotions to the concept of failure. Every time we didn't achieve that outcome that we had hoped for, we start to feel really bad about it. So my advice, trust and have faith in that higher guidance. Trust that what we need in order to overcome our fear of failure or any fear in that matter needs to come from a foundation of faith, of trust.
We need to be trusting in the power within ourselves because as a soul, you're always connected to all that is. Therefore, you have access subconsciously to all the information that you need in order to make this incarnation a great journey and a great uh, adventure. So we need to have more trust within our own intuition, within our own feeling center. And it's really called leap, taking a leap of faith. You know, we need to have faith that whatever I feel I need to do today will guide me to where I need to be tomorrow. That's it. Okay, don't go any further than those two days. Um, because all that matters is what you do in the now moment, because that will always influence what you do tomorrow. And remember that the energy that resides within your soul is the same power that created the universe. Therefore, you are a creator. And you are the creator of your own physical realm, of your own physical experience. So you and your higher self are always co-creating this adventure that you call life. And that's why sometimes as a human, we have this idea of what we want in order to be happy. But then your higher self might have a little bit of a different perspective and actually have a wider perspective. And so if we trust our communication with our higher selves, and follow that direction, follow that communication, uh, you will see that it would lead you to things that are far more greater, things that are far more beautiful and far more abundant than you could ever have imagined possible from your human perspective. So we need to learn to trust and follow that internal communication, that, that compass that, that's called intuition. So stop fearing. Be creative, dare to follow your dreams, release all of those fears and really start trusting what your heart is telling you because it will always lead you to the adventures that you crave and those that will be the most valuable to you and your desired path and purpose. So replace the fear of failure with the knowing that it's just bringing you one step closer to exactly what you want to be. I love you guys. Um, I will see you within one more week. I uh, will see you then. Bye, guys.